Professor Jack Price lives on campus by himself. He's just been reported missing by his graduate student, Maria King. The last person to see Jack was his co-instructor, Dr. Sanjay Gupta. It is 10.42 a.m. on October 11th. We are entering the crime scene house and I see there is a cigarette butt and a trail of blood. So it is currently 10.46 a.m. We are entering the bedroom. Oh my god, that's, that is a, the first responders have already come in and declared the person to be not alive. The Forensic Science program is an undergraduate program. There's four streams or specializations, forensic biology, forensic chemistry, forensic psych, and forensic anthropology. And one of the things that we've maintained through all the programs is a component of the crime scene. Is there anything on the glass that you can see as of now? This, this crime scene house for undergraduate students at university is actually very unique. It is one of the first of its kind in Canada. So the house is used for public outreach for high school students, it's used for training the undergraduate students, and it's also used for police training as well. There's a Nicorette box on the bedside. There's a crumpled paper in the bed as well. I'm a graduate student under Dr. Tracy Rogers in Forensic Anthropology. I'm the, the teaching assistant for our Forensic Identification course. So I'm the one who goes with the students, walks them through the house, teaches them how to collect fingerprints, footwear, take pictures, um, and all the documentation. Well, what it looks like to us would probably be that the victim on the bed died from a gunshot wound to the head. I think the uh applicability of it and the, the hands-on experience is something that you can't really get anywhere else. The, the critical thinking skills are really honed in this kind of environment. One of the reasons that I got involved in forensic anthropology is because I was interested in helping people and forensic anthropology and forensic science help provide answers. And those answers are incredibly important to not only for justice but to family members. It opens to your mind to what could happen and, and what you could be involved in helping on the job and the, the effects of what your work would bring to a victim or a suspect. 